Hi, what I want to do right now is I just want to do a quick video to kind of reinforce some ideas uh, that I've taught in class. Um, so in the class lectures, what I've said is that there's five different types of accounts. There's asset accounts, liability accounts, income accounts, capital accounts, and expense accounts. And every account has a left side, which we call the debit side, and a credit side, uh, which is the right side of the account. As I explained in class, the asset accounts and expense accounts, they get, get larger and their normal balances are debits. And then liability, income, and capital accounts, their normal balances, and they get, as well as how they get larger, is on the credit side. So let's do a couple of uh, little exercises to, to kind of reinforce this. So let's say that we are a small business, we're a landscaping business, and we mow somebody's lawn. So we, we mow a person's lawn, and uh, we've done $100 worth of work, and we knock on the door, and the person gives us $100 in cash. Well, if we have a cash account, assuming we don't have anything in the cash account starting off with, cash account would be zero. If we've received $100, Assets increase, cash of course is an asset, cash would increase on the debit side. So we would put a $100 debit on that, uh, in that cash account. Now, the rule is if you have $100 worth of debits, you gotta have $100 worth of credits. So that means that we're going to have to credit some account $100. So debits and credits always have to equal. Well, the, the account that would increase or the account that we would, uh, that we would credit in this particular case would be an example of an income account. So we might credit service revenue for $100. So service revenue increased for $100, and so we credit it, and then also cash increased $100, so we, we debited it that. Now let's just assume that we need some supplies. So we've got $100 in cash, and we go to Office Depot and we buy $20 worth of supplies, maybe paper, pens, whatever supplies are there. Well, supplies, of course, is an asset, right? If you leave supplies out, people are bound to steal them. So supplies, if you had a supplies account, supplies, all right, so supplies is an example of an asset account. You go to Office Max and you buy $20 worth of supplies. You didn't have any supplies in it before. Supplies goes up $20. Well, supplies is an asset. It goes up on the debit side, so we would debit supplies $20. If you debit something $20, you got to credit something $20. And if we went to the office supply store and we wrote a check for those $20, then our cash would have been credited. So cash would have gone down $20. And so that's the $20 credit and then the $20 debit is supplies. And so here's an example of trading one asset, cash, for another asset, supplies. So there's no expenses, no income, no changes in owner's equity, you just converted one asset to another asset. Um, so that's basically how, how it goes. And that's, we can go through other examples with income accounts and capital accounts and liability accounts and expense accounts later, but I just wanted it to, to reinforce that. The other thing I want to tell you, and I can't tell you this enough, debit does not mean plus and credit mean minus or vice versa. Really, debit means left and credit means right. So don't get into this trap a lot of students get into. Well, debit means plus and credit means minus. I have another video that kind of hopefully will kind of dispel that. But um, just for, for sake of what we're doing, debit means left, credit means right, and understand that some accounts increase when we make entries on the left side, while other accounts increase when we make entries on the right side. Thanks.